Hi everyone, uh, Patek here. First of all, Merry Christmas. I hope that all of you had a lovely Christmas and hopefully that you're having a great time uh, in holiday right now. I know that it's not always an easy time for everybody and I hope that you will get through it if you're uh, struggling through this holiday. Stay strong and I'm really hoping that things will get better for all of you. For today's video, it will be a Christmas book haul and also my December 2021 book haul. I think a lot of you have seen uh, these four. Yeah, this is the one that I did in my Illumicrate unboxing. And if you have seen my uh, bookshelf tour, you have you will already have seen all eight of this. But I haven't showed this one. This is another Illumicrate unboxing. I just received this and this is the December box. Uh, the As I said before, the theme is cursed. I haven't opened this one and hopefully this time I will be able to do a better job in unboxing. That means in the month of December, I got uh, five books from Illumicrate boxes. That's amazing, especially considering that I never received any books from Illumicrate before. And once again, I'm really thankful for Illumicrate for sending me uh, the November and also December uh, boxes. For the Greenbone Saga box set, this is something that I purchased on my own. And now let's get started. Uh, the first one that I got here, this is... Uh, the Burning God. Yeah, this is The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is the final book in the Poppy War trilogy. I uh, pre-ordered this one since last year because the Poppy War and the Dragon Republic that I own are the UK paperback edition and I just want them all to match. Honestly though, I kind of regretted not getting the Poppy War trilogy in hardcover format because they are absolutely stunning. Look at this. This is just the paperback and it's already so beautiful. I wish I wish I have gotten the uh, the hardcover, especially the Illumicrate edition. They are so gorgeous, but it went sold out so quickly. <laughs> I wasn't able to get to it and well, I, this will have to do. I love this one. This is my favorite book of the entire trilogy. And yeah, the cover art by uh, Jung Shan is so beautiful. I cannot wait uh, for the next book by R.F. Kuang uh, next year. Then the next book that I got, this is a sub-published book. Uh, it is a Refraction by Wick Welker. This is a sci-fi book. I haven't read this one, but I've heard plenty of great things about this self-published sci-fi novel. Uh, the, the story is about how many times does it take to destroy the world before you can save it. So I think this is about a three period of timeline. In 1986, physicist Timothy Strauss hears voices that teach him how to create a space warping engine that will change the world. In 2098, a fighter pilot hears voices that help him fight an authoritarian corporatist regime in the ashes of nuclear fallout. In 2155, the only sub-aware robot on Mars struggles to steer humanity away from a demagogue who speaks from the shadows. Told through kaleidoscope storytelling across space and time, these three people are connected in ways they could never imagine. As they pull on the strings of the multiverse, what they cannot see is that every villain begins as a savior, every enemy starts as a friend. With the power to refract reality, will they learn that one person cannot save the people? That only the people can save the people. So yeah, this sounds incredibly interesting and I think this is a standalone sci-fi novel. Uh, also, this book is signed. I'm really thankful for uh, Wick Welker. He has been very supportive of my reviews and here he wrote that uh, Patrick, you've changed the way I read books and that's amazing. That's something truly amazing to me. And the next book that I got is actually another, another book by Wick Welker. Yeah, uh, this one is... Hold on. This is Dark Theory. Yeah, this is the first book in the Dark Law series. So this one is not a standalone. I think this one is a science fantasy. Look how gorgeous this is. At the back, it's written, a robot yearns to remember, a thief struggles to forget, and a galaxy on the verge of collapse. And this is the premise. On the fridge of a broken civilization, a robot awakens with no memories and only one directive, find his creator. But in the village of Corte, Bitro finds only radioactive pestilence, famine, and Mire, a tormented thief with dreams of retiring after her final score. Meanwhile, the fifth them is plunged further into chaos when a new warlord seizes control, recasting serfs as refugees and leaving the relic robot peasants in his wake. With a shared interest in survival, Bitro and Mire team up to pull off an impossible castle heist. Still a single flake of dark matter, the world's most valuable and mysterious ore. But as they track through the feudal wasteland in search of answers, they realize the true extent of the chaos surrounding them. The stars are disappearing from the sky and the entire 
entire galaxy is unraveling. As he uncovers his origin, Bichuo discovers he may be the key to the salvation of the cosmos or its destruction. Time, space, and loyalty become relative as he learns the final reason he was created. A mind-bending science fiction epic with the bones of a fantasy traveling quest, Dark Theory unfolds through a journey of betrayal, identity, and unlikely friendships in a world of darkness set at the edge of space and time. So uh, this book sounds like it will be more to my liking compared to Refraction, but in generally, I think both of them sounds incredibly intriguing to me, and I will try to read uh, both Refraction and Dark Theory within uh, next year. Then the next book that I got, this is another copy of Assassin's Apprentice. This is the illustrated edition. Once again, now I have a double copy of this one. So some of you have asked me uh, whether I will be willing to actually host a giveaway for all the double copy of books that I own. Well, I would love to, seriously. I would really love to host a giveaway for all the extra ed extra books and extra editions that I own. But sending books internationally, especially from my place to USA or maybe UK, they would be so expensive that it would actually be cheaper if I just buy you the books. Yeah, so hosting a giveaway is kind of uh, redundant, I think. But let me know your thoughts on this. Maybe for advanced reading copy, because sometimes I do get two or three advanced reading copy. Maybe it's better for me to host a giveaway for that one. Maybe you guys are willing to pay for the international shipping fee, something like that. Do let me know your thoughts on this because there are several books that I would, I would love to actually host a giveaway. Then the next book that I got, this is the Green Bone Saga Trilogy. The first book is uh, Jade CD. This is the Illumicrate edition. Looks so beautiful. I already did an unboxing of this trilogy, so I'm just going to show you now. But this is such a worthy purchase. This is Jade War. So beautiful, right? And this is Jade Legacy by Fondali. This is the best book of the year for me. And yeah, look how beautiful this is. Gorgeous. Then the next book that I got before I do an unboxing, this is uh, Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. So this is, again, uh, another book that I got from Illuminate Box, but this is for the box of November. The theme was Death and Fortune, and this is so beautiful. I haven't read this one. I think this is a YA fantasy, but surprisingly, I already read uh, the first two chapters of this. This is so well written. Yeah, I really like the writing style. And this is so beautiful. Look at this. Hold on. Ta-da! The Naked Heart cover apparently has a cover art uh, that's illustrated by the author herself. Yeah, this is done by the author. And the interior artwork as well. Hold on, let me show you one. This... Ta-da! Yeah, this is done by the author herself. And I'm sure there will be more insight and one day I will get to find out whenever that is. So yeah, now it's time to unbox this one. I'm going to do a better job at this, hopefully. You know, apparently they tape this so much more than they usually do. The good thing though, it will be safer for the books and the stuff inside. There will be a lot of goodies just like uh, last time. I haven't seen everything or anything inside this box, but I think I have a feeling what the book will be about or what the book is. Okay. Yeah, I think this one will be shorter than... Uh, Hold on, I may, I may have uh, spoken too soon. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I don't have a proper equipment to do a proper unboxing. I only have this small scissor. Okay, I, okay, I almost got it. I almost got it. Come on. Okay, I think I can open this now. You know what? I'm just going to rip it open.
Ta-da! <laughs> this is such a horrible unboxing, but I'm not going to be able to keep the box anyway. So, uh, this is the first one. What is this? Uh, the Road Through Midnight, designed by Rosie Thorns 88. So I'm going to open this now. Okay, I'm going to try to be careful now. Ugh. Why is this so scary? Okay, I got it. What is this? This is a teacup. Eh? What is this? This is a teacup, right? What is this from? Is this from the Barry and the Nightingale? Is it? I'm not sure what uh, what book this is. Uh, I will check the brochure later. Then over here we also have. I think this is a pencil case. Oh, this is beautifully designed. Uh, I want to survive this world that keeps trying to destroy me. Nice. This is the back. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I think this is a pencil case. So we have two now. What is this? Oh, a calendar. Wow, this is so beautiful. Look at this. This one is from Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. And then this. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, February. Oh yeah, a new calendar. I love this. And then The Invisible Life of Eddie Larue by V.E. Schwab. For the month of April, we have Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Ngan. This is so pretty. For the month of May, we have The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevater. I actually have read this one. It's quite an enjoyable uh, YA fantasy series. And then we have The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I haven't read this. Oh, this is so beautiful. Who, who designed this? I need to know the artist. Oh, The Puppy War by RF Kuang. Wow, this is gorgeous. I love this for the month of July. And then for the month of August, we have An Amber in the Ashes by Sabata here. This is so beautiful. I will be using this one for the year of 2022. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I haven't read this book, but I've heard a lot of great things about uh, Lainey Taylor's books. And then we have Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. Ta-da! This is October, and then the month of November, we have Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. Oh wow, nice. This is beautiful. And finally, uh, for the month of December, we have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Ta-da! I didn't actually like uh, reading Night Circus. I think that's an unpopular opinion, but it is truly well written, uh, the book. Star Cross. Oh, I just saw this. The theme is Star Cross Lovers with artwork from Salties and Frostbite Studios. This is so beautiful, well done to the artist and Illumicrate. And then we have over here, ah, this is the, the brochure, Cursed. What items do we get? The Road Through Midnight Mug. Our latest mug features a papercraft designed by Rosie, inspired by Winter Night Trilogy. Ah, see, I was right, that's from uh, Winter Night Trilogy. I haven't read the book, but I will be reading it soon. And then Survive This World Book Marked In, designed by Chetty Nora. Yeah, Chetty Nora is a great artist. So this one is apparently from a book uh, by Lee Bardugo, Ninth House. I think it was her first fantasy debut, first adult fantasy debut, sorry. And then the Star Cross Lovers Calendar that I just showed you is again uh, with an artwork by Salties and then uh, Frostbite Studios and designed by Chetty Nora again. And then we have Firebird Pin Banner designed by Abigail Spence. Uh, display your enamel pin collection on this pin banner inspired by Girls, uh, Serpent and Thorn. Is that, is that this one? Oh no, this one is the Nevermore Sticker Sheet, artwork by Moren Kunst. Uh, de decorate your journal with these cute stickers inspired by Nevermore. And then finally, monthly collector spin designed by Stacy McAvoy-Cont, inspired by the magic Edwin performs in the book. 
Ah, I know the book. I know what the book is. I was right about this. Oh, also, this is uh, the Nevermore sticker. This is so beautiful. <laughs> uh, too bad. Too bad it's kind of crooked over here. But oh well. Can't be helped, I guess. And then we're going to see. Ta da! What is this? This is. What was this again? Firebird pin banner. Oh, <laughs> this is a phoenix. Ah, this is pretty cool. Can I wear this? Oh, it fits. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wear this for now. And then, ta-da, this is the book. Oh, also the last item on this box. This is the Motley enamel pin. So beautiful. But this is a magic from the book. And now we're going to see finally what the book is. I already know what this is. This is a marvelous light by Freya Marske, I think. I think that's the name of the author. Ooh. I've heard a lot of great things about this book. Uh, Sarah from Sarah Reads uh, said that this is a great book. And my co booker also said that this book is awesome. A Marvelous Light by Freya Marski. Wow. So yeah, this is the book. I was right about this. I'm looking forward to reading this one. And look, this is the spray edges. So pretty. It's black. And the back look like this. This is kind of transparent. Wow. This is the blurb over here. A hidden world, a magical conspiracy, a thrilling romance. Young Baronet Robin Blit was already in the spot of a bother. He's struggling to be a decent older brother and a responsible employer and to rescue the estate ravaged by his late parent excesses. Then an administrative mistake appoints him parliamentary liaison to a secret society and he discovers magic lies beneath the reality he's always known. Soon Robin must contend with magic's dangers as well as its beauty. For as he tries to find his missing predecessor, he attracts a deadly curse. To navigate these hazards, he'll need the help of Edwin Corsi, his prickly magical society counterpart. But his aloof associate clearly wishes Robin were anyone and anywhere else. Drawn together by unexpected perils, Robin and Edwin will discover a mystery as old as the power that binds the land, a plot that threatens every magician in the British Isles, and a secret that some have already died to keep. Oh. I think this is the first time I see a cover design like this. This is transparent. Look. Yeah. This is the author. This is so pretty. I'm going to check the book now. And of course, this is signed. Yeah. Yeah, I am looking forward to reading this. Thank you so much to Illumicrate for sending me this book. And this is the first book in the last binding trilogy. So this is not a one-off standalone. I thought this was a one-off standalone somehow. For the bar at the end of the universe and everyone the devil met there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. I don't think there is an interior artwork here. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about this one and hopefully this will indeed be a great book. So once again, as a reminder, I have a rep code for this uh, Patrick 5. I will leave the link in the description down below. You will be able to get a discount for the three or six month subscription at Illumicrate. Once again, thank you so much to Illumicrate for sending me uh, this monthly box. I am looking forward to getting my copy of the January and also February box. Yeah, that's pretty much it from me today. Uh, let me know what book you got in the month of December. Do you spend anything for Christmas? Uh, for books and yeah let me know your thoughts on this book haul as always thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support merry christmas once again and i hope you all of you are having a lovely holiday i will have one more video release uh, a few days from now that's the last video of this year and it will be about all the graders and kind of like all the disappointment that for all the stuff that i consumed in the month in the year of 2021 so yeah that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support bye bye